All right, so in this video, I will do some American English idioms because I was requested this video. So uh, I've pulled up some uh, idioms and I will go through them and what they mean and how to use them. So the first idiom we have here is a blessing in disguise. Uh, I don't like the way the page here explains them, so I'm going to explain them in my own way. Uh, for example, a blessing in disguise here says it's a good thing that seemed bad at first. Uh, yes, but it can also just be a happenstance. Like it can be that you were just doing your normal things and something happened and later you realize that uh, something that happened earlier uh, is a blessing that, uh, or something that is really good that has happened in the process. Um, a dime a dozen it says again something common but it doesn't have to be just something common it could also be something easily accessible uh, it can be something that is easy to understand or get or something that's common basically you think of it along the lines of a supply chain where something is uh, cheap and it's cheap because there's a lot of it or it's uh, you know easy to get and oftentimes when somebody's asking for a high price for something and you're trying to negotiate and you're trying to say well it's not worth that because there's a lot of it available you might say well that thing is a dime a dozen um, so it basically means you're getting 12 of something for just a dime right that's um, what it kind of means uh, be around the bush uh, it basically means that you're not comfortable saying something uh, or somebody's not comfortable saying or talking about something so they're going around the topic uh, maybe trying to describe it or give signals rather than explicitly and directly saying uh, what they mean so depending on what it is, it could be something religious, sex related, it could be something, um, uh, you know, the other person might not like. And so beat around, beating around the bush or beat around the bush uh, basically means to go around the subject matter. Um, better late than never that basically means to uh, it's okay to be late rather than not come bite the bullet uh, to get something over with because it's inevitable or something that's hard to do uh, it's essentially the same thing like eat the frog uh, but sometimes eat the frog is more proactive and bite the bullet may be less proactive and more passive and it can be, you know, you just have to bite the bullet. Um, so, break a leg, um, good luck. So, it's kind of uh, just saying, hey, you know, go break a leg. And that means go do the thing and good luck with it. Because anything worth doing, you know, you're going to hurt yourself or... Um, have to push through it. So call it a day is to say that I'm done working on it for the today and I will continue tomorrow uh, or at a later time. So that's basically to stop working on something. Uh, cut somebody some slack uh, is basically you're being too critical of somebody, you're being too uptight about something and or you are expecting too much from someone and so cut somebody some slack basically means don't do that so i might say hey you know cut john some slack and that basically means to go easier on john uh, again go easier on somebody is uh, kind of an american slang um, which means to not be so hard on someone or to not push them around too much um, and just let them be um, so some another similar saying is you know uh, live and let live kind of thing 
cutting corners. Uh, that basically means imagine that you're trying to walk around a square and instead of walking fully along the corner and then at a right angle you cut through the corner uh, while somebody's not looking perhaps and that basically means you're slacking off in your work or you are uh, doing something poorly and not professionally um, and it could be due to tr trying to save time or money um, or just effort you know like you don't want to put in the effort um, easy does it. it just means you know you don't have to work so hard at something and uh, you can slow down and take it easy and just get it done. So it's almost like telling you to it's okay to cut corners um, or perhaps just take your time doing something. So I mean usually you can think of things as you know either you're gonna put the time in or the money in or the effort in and so um, these cutting corner easy does it these kind of things can be in those references. Uh, getting out of hand is, yeah, that one I like the meaning, it's basically getting out of control. Um, this person's out of hand, this thing's out of hand. Uh, it basically means you're not able to hold on to it, and so if you're not able to hold on to something like, um, for example, you can imagine water is not um, something you can hold on to, it's just going to slip out of your hands, and so water is out of your control um, in that sense. And, but it's an idiom, so you're going to use it for, you know, perhaps there's work that you were meant to do, but you couldn't, and it got out of hand because things got too hard, or you ran out of time, or so on. Uh, get something out of your system. Do the thing you've been wanting to do, um, so you can move on. So, for example, if you are having trouble... Um, with a past relationship and you're not able, able to get over it. Uh, you're not able to move on from it. So somebody might say, hey, you know, get that person out of your system. Um, get your act together is basically to work better or to leave. Um, basically just, you know, stop, uh, like imagine an acting stage, so you are saying that, you know, stop missing your dialogue and start doing the thing you're meant to do like we're all um, we're all artists on a stage in the sense of our own work and so to get our act together means to get our work uh, and our uh, you know the way we're doing things together give someone the benefit of doubt is basically to say hey stop doubting them all the time and allow them to tr like just trust them and let them do the thing they need to do uh, go back to the drawing board basically means start over so usually whenever you're coming up with a new plan or a new thing you start on a drawing board with some brainstorming and planning and so on before you then go execute the thing so go back to the drawing board essentially means to start over hang in there uh, basically means don't give up and just uh, basically like don't fall down right hang, hang there um, so don't give up hit the sack uh, the sack is basically like imagine a cat going to sleep in its sack so people can go to sleep in their sack which is basically the bed or go to sleep um, it's not rocket science um, typically math and rocket science and certain you know medical fields doctors uh, these things are considered hard in terms of the american vocabulary so if somebody says this is not brain surgery or this is not rocket science or this is not nuclear physics any of those things typically mean uh, that the thing isn't so complicated and you know letting someone off the hook it means to not hold someone responsible for something. 